So how do we continue to navigate this? We, turn, we, we begin to turn grief itself into a spiritual practice. When I say spiritual practice, what do I mean? What is a spiritual practice? Spiritual practice is anything that we take on on a regular basis that allows us to be more mindful about ourselves and our relationship to the divine of who we are. Meditation is a spiritual practice, right? Because when we meditate, the idea is that we attempt to quiet the mind, still the monkey chatter, and connect with that still small voice within us. Anything that helps us get deeper within ourselves is a spiritual practice. Anything that helps us know ourselves more is a spiritual practice. Because to know myself, the truth of myself, is to know God. Because that's the essence of what I am. It's the essence of what you are as well. And when I face the grief and relax into it. And it opens me up because, because honestly, we're grieving because we loved so much. Here's another saying I don't like that I'm really tired of hearing. Grief is love with no place to go. That's a load of crap. <laughs> I had a place for it to go. <laughs> and honestly, and honestly, there are a zillion places that love can go. And one of those places is right back on myself. Grief is a reminder that I love, not loved, that I love. And can I turn some of that love back on myself? Can I love myself more deeper, more fuller? and come into an awareness even more of who I am. That's a spiritual practice. So when these swells of grief come, whether they be huge tidal wave types or, you know, just gentle bobbing on the shore or whatever it is, allow yourself to imagine yourself, like lay float, lay, you know, on your back, lay floating on the water and just moving with it, not resisting it. Let the sadness, let the pain come. Notice it. Identify what it is. This hurts. This is painful. Don't seek to get rid of it. Give yourself the time, the space and grace, I call it, to sit in it. And you might be like, I'm so tired of sitting in this. And I'll be like, yeah, but guess what? The only way out is through. The only way out is through. And honestly, there's no out. <laughs> it's really just through. And what you'll realize after some time of this practice, of acknowledging the things that grief poke at, the questions that it brings up that makes us afraid, will I ever love this way again? Am I going to be stuck in loneliness? All these questions. Allow them to sit unanswered. Because the truth is, the answer might be yes, the answer might be no. Can we allow ourselves to sit in the not knowing? until the not knowing no longer scares us. Can we allow ourselves to sit in the pain until the pain no longer scares us? That is our practice of grieving that brings us to a deeper sense of ourselves. Love is what got us into this mess in the first place. And love is what's going to get us through it. <laughs>